In 2017, there's a lot happening in the PC space that's super exciting, but nothing is as interesting as this, the HP Omen X Compact Desktop. Sure, it's a mouthful, but it's a super cool PC that, well, if you can afford it, you may want to consider. Did I also mention you can wear it as a backpack? Stay tuned. All right, before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit about the Omen X brand. So this is HP's premium lineup for gamers. They have Omen and then Omen X. So don't roll your eyes too much at this up. This is extreme. It's meant to be. So it's going to be a little bit expensive and it's going to be a little bit different, but that's the point of it. And I really like when companies push the boundaries. That's what we're going to see here. Now, to talk a little bit about why this is a compact desktop, obviously it's smaller than most towers. Now, they also have an Omen brand tower if you want to have full expansion capabilities in the more traditional setup. This is for people who want a small desktop that's super powerful. Moreover, they have what are called three modes for it. You have desktop, living room, so you can take it with you into the living room because it is portable. It is essentially a laptop desktop combination, and you can strap it to your back in case you want to use VR, specifically Windows Mixed Reality, although it does work with Oculus and HTC Vive as well. Let's jump to the specifications. You're talking Intel Core i7 7820HK. That means it is overclockable. That is also a 45 watt chip. So that is the same chips you can find in high-end gaming laptops and not necessarily desktop class, but as you'll see here, it's more than made up for it with the video card, which is a GeForce GTX 1080 with eight gigabytes of video memory. You also get 16 gigabytes of 2400 RAM, and you get one terabyte PCIe NVMe SSD for storage. All that combined makes an awesome gaming experience. Turning to the Omen X itself, check it out. Have you ever seen anything like this? It's absolutely insane looking, and I love this design for many reasons. One, it's obviously very small. I love how it sits upright like this, so you get very good ventilation here to cool off that GPU and CPU. Let's explain what's going on here though, because it is nothing like I've ever seen before. This is the main computer, this is the dock, and how that works is there's a button here which you press, and it literally ejects the PC, and that is your computer. There's actually a battery built into this as well, plus external batteries you can use for wearing it as a backpack. Looking over here, you have your intake vent and outtake vents for the sides. We can turn to the bottom here. This is where some of the crazy stuff happens. Here's the connector for that dock. These are for external batteries, and those are just stabilizers. Turning to the side here, we have an AC jack. So this is if you want to plug it into the wall without the dock, you can do that as well. On the other side, you have two USB 3.0 ports, and there's a lot more of those. This device has so many input outputs, it's pretty crazy. Turning to the top here, you have a plug here for, I believe it's the HTC Vive or Oculus if you need to power that. You have your power button over here, two more USB 3.0 ports, HDMI, mini display. You have a Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C port. You also have a headphone jack for your headphones. And these are located on top because when you wear it as a backpack, you can connect your headset up to this and have a short wire to wear. Turning to the dock itself, you get two more USB 3.0 ports in the front. Another USB Type-C port here. That's not going to be Thunderbolt 3, but just straight up Type-C 3.1. Turn to the back, you have a Kensington lock, three more USB 3.0 ports. You have a DisplayPort, HDMI out, Ethernet. There is the AC connector, and this is for charging external batteries if you're going to use the backpack. Assuming you buy the $500 backpack that goes with this, which is an accessory, you don't need to buy it, you will also get two more external batteries. So that's four in total for the backpack. And this is the charger for it. These just literally drop in, they charge, and they have a little meter on top telling you how much battery life they are. This then plugs into the back of the dock and it's all in one system. So here it is, the optional backpack. It's super expensive, but boy, is it really nice. So it is a carbon fiber system and has all sorts of padding and straps on it. So you don't really feel it when you're wearing it. And it's a very light system, just over 10 pounds. And there's a nice little gap here too. So it separates the computer for your back so you never get actually warm from it. You have two battery packs down here and these are hot swappable so you can just hit a switch, the battery slides out and while you're wearing it you can pop in new batteries. The total combo will last you about an hour which is not bad when you're running a Core i7 and a 1080 completely wireless but yeah you can walk around your room playing Windows VR, Windows Mixed Reality and it's a pretty awesome experience. 
Combined all together, you're gonna get two hours of battery, but don't forget, you can also charge the other two batteries while you're using it. In theory, you could just keep going for hours and hours, although I wouldn't do it for more than 45 minutes myself. Putting the backpack stuff aside, as I realize it's a little niche for many of you guys and you probably won't be buying that, this is a straight up gaming desktop. Now you are running a 45 watt processor, which performs about as well as a Surface Book 2's new processor. So as a CPU, it's not the most powerful out there, but most video games today, at least the high-end AAA titles, are GPU intensive. So when it comes to benchmarks, we get very good performance and everything falls right in line where we expect it. So when I play Gears of War 4, I can do it on ultra setting and get around 94 frames per second, which is pretty fantastic. Playing something like Destiny 2, you can easily hit 60 frames per second on all high settings. Or if you're using like a high-end monitor like we are with G-Sync, you can easily do over 100 frames per second. The same comes down to Doom, where you can play that on Ultra and hit 90 to 100 frames per second as well. So this is a straight-up gaming desktop, and I really like using it. When it comes to thermals, nothing too exciting here. We're talking 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 54 degrees Celsius for the actual chassis, or about 150 degrees Fahrenheit and 66 degrees Celsius for that external vent, so no worries there. For sound, it looks like around 52 decibels, which is not too loud at all. That's actually below most gaming laptops, so all you'll hear is a little bit of a whooshing noise as you're playing a high-end video game. And if you're using headphones like me, of course, you won't hear it at all. One super cool thing here HP has done is the Omen Command Center, so it's a simple app that launches and you can do all sorts of cool things like control the LED for the casing, which I thought was a really nice touch. You can customize the color options and have it flash. It's not as robust as say Razer's Chroma, but it's a cool thing to have. You can also overclock the CPU and it's pretty simple here. It's a slider, you move it up and down, you can change the core voltage and do a couple other little tricks. Now if anything actually breaks with this, it's just going to reboot the PC and it'll go back to your default setting. So there should be no concern here for damaging the chip. And since this is an overclockable chip to begin with, it is made to do that. It's actually a lot of fun to play with and you can even benchmark it internally and compare your results to see how well it improves. When it comes to networking, HP is trying to take on Killer with their own prioritization service, so you can put your video game as a priority for your Wi-Fi connection, or you can also do a double shot, so you can connect up Ethernet and Wi-Fi together, have your game stream only over Ethernet, and have background services prioritized for Wi-Fi. It's a pretty cool system, and I like having it built in. When it comes to Windows Mixed Reality, you can, of course, use HP's own spatial computing headset, which is really nice. What makes this one a little bit special is the removable plug here. So this is the standard cable that comes off of it. HP includes two in the box, including a very long one, so you can tether to a desktop PC. Or in this case, we're going to want to use this shorter cable since we're just connecting to the backpack itself, and we don't want to have a really long cable interfering with our connection. So let's talk about the Windows Mixed Reality experience. Overall, it was a lot of fun to use. You simply pop off the computer, slide onto the backpack, and strap in, and you're good to go. Swapping out batteries was super easy, and with the HP headset, you can flip it up to see your room around you, and that raises a secondary concern. You don't have boundaries while wearing this. Normally, when you set up Windows Mixed Reality with a desktop PC, you set up boundaries around that PC so you won't walk into walls. They create virtually into the world itself. You're not doing that here. It is boundary free since you are the computer essentially. And so you have to be a little bit careful walking around your room as you may stub a toe or bump into a TV. And yes, that did happen to me. So make sure you have plenty of space. But overall, the experience was quite liberating. It feels great not to be actually tethered to the PC with a cable. You can just walk around freely. It is a lot more fun. The backpack was super comfortable. I had no issues whatsoever. Barely felt it was on. I couldn't hear it at all. And swapping the batteries was super simple. Now, I wouldn't really personally gain for more than two hours in virtual reality, as that's a long time to be immersed in that world, but if you can, go for it. It's a pretty awesome experience. All right, so what do I think about this device? Well, it is super cool. Now, let's talk about price tag. It goes for $2,500. You can order it now, get it in time for Christmas, and still an extra 500 bucks for that backpack. So this is a super expensive system. There's no argument there. And I know a lot of you are going to tell me in comments, I could build a cheaper system that's way more powerful. And that's totally true, but that's kind of beside the point here. HP purposely made this to push boundaries and try new things. So it is very niche, but that's kind of the point here. Desktop PCs can get pretty boring, so every once in a while you want to see a company try something new. 
And don't forget, yeah, it's super expensive, but in a couple of years, stuff like this will trickle down to the regular consumer market if it succeeds. Speaking of, for engineering, HP did a bang up job here. I didn't read the instructions. I just opened the box, started putting it together. There's probably about 9,000 ways they could have screwed this thing up and it just worked all the time. I had no issues with it. As a straight up gaming PC, it was just a blast to use. I really love the compact design here. It looks great on a desk and you can pick it up and bring it to the living room with ease. And sure, if you wanna strap it onto your back, you could do that too. I mean, not everybody's gonna to wanna to do it, but if you can, you're not gonna to wanna to try any other virtual reality out there. Overall, if you're looking for a compact gaming desktop, I suggest taking a look at this. It's gonna be super expensive, but you're getting a real premium experience and there's nothing else like this out there on the market today. So there's a quick look at the HP Omen X Compact Desktop. Now, if you want more information about it, head to Windows Central and you can read my full review, get benchmarks and photos, and get more information about it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.